it's okay to do nothing. Hi guys, welcome back to The Sick Sexy. In today's video, I want to share an important message about putting yourself first during the most busiest season of the year. And I want to talk about how it's okay to stop, it's okay to do nothing, and it's okay to recharge for the months ahead. We are not robots, even though we are expected to be most of the time switched on, it's okay to switch off and remember that you too are human. So I want to talk firstly about a few ways that you can manage your pain over the busiest season of the year and how to get through it. My first biggest advice to anyone with a chronic pain disorder is um, increase your water intake. So when um, you're walking around a lot um, during this time of the year and you have any kind of physical pain or illness, um, you actually retain water in your feet. So I found that I've gone up half a shoe size because my feet are so inflamed from walking everywhere. From all the pressure that I put on my good leg to support my broken hip, that leg is obviously a lot stronger than my left leg. However, it's also the, the leg that takes the most pressure and the most pain. And so my feet are so swollen, they're inflamed. They look like I'm pregnant, <laughs> which I'm not. And yeah, it's not, it's not flattering and it's definitely not comfortable. So that is my biggest tip is to increase your water intake. I can't st enough stress the importance of just taking more breaks and being honest with you about the kind of workload that you are taking on. Um, we do try and push through the pain. I think as a society we are taught to push through whatever pain or um, burdens are thrown our way, but there are boundaries to the limits that um, our bodies can endure. So I do stress to you to take as many breaks as you can. Physically it's really hard when you have a, a chronic pain disorder um, to feel like you are a productive member of society you constantly feel like you have something to prove and really you are doing the very best that you can and the fact that you even got out of bed and you're trying is amazing and it's a miracle so I think you need to give yourself more credit as I need to give myself more credit that it's okay some days not to feel like taking on the world because you know your body will tell you when it needs to stop and my body was screaming at me to stop and pressure to, to act a certain way around other people and for me that was exhausting mentally because here I was battling this constant pain that was just getting worse and worse and worse it didn't matter what painkillers I took or how much sleep I got or how much I rested when I could I was just in agony and having to put on this brave face all the time and pretend I was okay um, kind of bit me in the butt because I yeah, I just wasn't feeling myself and I just had to come to terms with the fact that that's okay and there will be days when you are in pain and you're not yourself and the people around you just have to realise that and, and give you time, essentially. Um, and I think what I'm trying to give to you guys is just not to apologise for who you are as a person in this body with all of its problems and its illnesses. Um, don't apologise for who you are. Take a second back, be kind to your body, be kind to your soul, and most importantly, be kind to yourself because the world won't stop just because you're in pain or you have problems. You have to stop and take a step back and realise that it's okay not to be productive every single second of every single day. So if there's anything you can take away from this video, it is that. So. I know I'm not my usual hyper bubbly self, but that is purely because I'm trying to prove a point here, which is it's okay to sometimes. So I hope this inspired some of you to take a step back and realize what your real priorities in life are because your health has to come first always. All my love to everyone and I will speak to you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Six Sexy.